Tommy, you, we're on here. It talks about how you are the naked <laughs> guy naked. for King of the Road. I guess. I, I mean, back then, yeah. What's your favorite Why trick you that you've guy? done nude for King of the Road? Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess that lip slide, I suppose. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Does it feel better to be nude and skateboarding? Do you feel a little more free or is it just awkward? I think it's just awkward. <laughs> I think it's kind of one of those things where uh, anybody else that's outside of what you're doing sees you and they're like, <laughs> wow, this dude has lost his shit. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, to other people, I probably look like the most insane human being. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, imagine me naked, outside? all these weird Caveman, tattoos, yeah. and then fucking everything just flopping around. Jumping fucking, down a rail? Yeah, jumping down a rail, and then <laughs> you, you're just some dude driving to the store, and you like look over, and here I am. <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh, How do you so end weird. up being the guy that has to do the naked trick, or do you volunteer? I guess I just don't care enough. Like, when it comes down to it, it's like, uh, being naked isn't that big of a deal, I don't think. It's like, I mean, everybody's naked at some point, whether everybody sees them or nobody sees them. Like, it's just a matter of being comfortable everywhere. In naked. front of the world. I naked. guess, I mean. Well, it's in shit. magazines and videos. <laughs> I suppose, but I, you don't get to see the junk, so it yeah. doesn't matter, it's all blurred out. <laughs> still something left in the imagination. You get to see the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, still no? yeah. Well, thanks for being the naked guy. You help get those teams get those points. We appreciate it. Hey. <laughs> Zero's never you, lost. Whatever you gotta do, yeah, right? They won't invite us back. So maybe really? once hey, yeah, once they like invite us back then. King of the road. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Hey, we need There's to get this guy in King, King of the Road. road. I know, I wish. Fuck. Well that well, sucks. It doesn't what? suck. They that just you guys don't aren't want invited us to back? win again. Well you yeah, it's like <laughs> No, nah, I, I don't. I, I don't know if I don't know if we'll win again, but I mean, we'll probably just win again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, yeah. <laughs> no. I guess you don't know, but you're gonna. <laughs> Pretty much. If sense. they put us back on, we're gonna win. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> well, I hope you guys go back on. That'd that be maybe awesome. that statement and win. will help you get back. And on. Yeah, if, and and win, so this could and all win. become reality. Yeah. But uh, if not, then. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, did you get in a fight in China? No. Mm -hmm. No. You guys talking about, let me see the note. A fight in China. <laughs> oh, in that's China. not me getting in a fight. That's Jamie and Dane trapping this woman in her shop so that we can skate the spot. Oh. No way. She wow. got crazy. Fuck she yeah. was going insane and there was all these people. Maybe that's not it. Maybe it's something different. Oh, well, let's hear this anyway. This is, sounds interesting. This footage of, we were like filming and shit. We were skating and um, this woman was going nuts and trying to like stop us from skating and was like, I don't know, she was just kind of crazy, but she like, worked in this 7-Eleven or whatever it was, Red Tomato. And um, she came out and tried to hit me while I was like in the air. She like smacks me on the ass, trying to like push me over while I'm skating, which is kind of gnarly. Um, and then she like got all crazy and was like fed up, you know what I mean? I was like, you fucking hit me. And I think that like freaked her out a little bit because it was like a big crowd. Yeah. So she was like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna go back inside. I like went back, as me and Gilbert filming. I think we went back to the run up and Jamie and Dan like, yep, you got it, one more. And we look over there and one of them's put their board, you know, like in movies where you got like the in two handles on the doors. <laughs> they got the board in the doors and she doesn't know yet she's going back in. So I like try one more and she like sees and tries to get out and they've got the board, she's like stuck in there. And then it got real tense so we just had to leave. I never got it. But it was, oh it was pretty God. crazy. You could go to Facebook questions. Yeah, you. let's do that. Oh my God. I don't know if we can top that. We already talked one, about Tommy's fuse. Yeah, I did. Narrow. Okay. Chris Anthony says, who's the biggest hammer in Zero, in your opinion, on Zero, in your opinion, or who would you like to have on the company? Both of you. Mm. Who's the biggest hammer on Zero? I'd say Brass. I'd say Tommy. <laughs> nice. That's very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, uh, or who would you like to have on the company? Brass. Ed Duff. Tommy. <laughs> Ed Duff and Tommy. Uh, yeah. No, Ed Duff. Ed Duff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd say Ed Duff for sure. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That guy's fucking raw. Yeah. Whose part are you most looking forward to in the video? That's from Jeremy Creed. That's like the hottest. It's like. I'd, I'll just say default Cervantes. Just because. I mean, that's like one of my favorite on the team. Just. Yeah. As like style and just fucking raw 
different yeah. shit, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, Plus, we haven't Thomas seen him in a while. Yeah. Tony's got good footage. Brockman, too. Oh. I'm excited about Brockman. Brockman. Yeah. Ridiculous. Both those guys have been, like, on zero for a while as well, and, like, their parts are going to be sick. But everyone, it's like, that's the same thing. You can't just be like, oh, these two dudes, and then you start thinking about it, and you're like, fuck, everyone's part's actually going to be really sick. Pretty much. Is there an approximate date, time? Yeah, it's supposed to be, like, the end of October, isn't it? Yeah, oh, really? they're saying they're saying the Halloween. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. I don't know, the, that's an interesting one. And then, it's yet to be seen. Roadless mm -hmm. Traveled is Friday. True. Yeah. You're excited? All right. I am excited. Are you going to take a limo down there? No. I, all I the way, wish. party bus, all the way down Party bus to LA. from oh, SD to LA? LA? <laughs> Shit. It's going to cost more than the hotel to stay at. It costs <laughs> more than the whole weekend up there. Just like, uh, no, nah, I'll just probably take my car. <laughs> um, Ty Norton says, Tommy, how long did it take your ass cheek to heal from the Tommy Bun slam? Shit was brutal. What's well, uh, the Tommy Bun yeah. slam? What is that? Oh, uh, it was, uh, we we're on tour with Tommy the Bun. Crux. <laughs> <laughs> we're on tour with the Crux dude in, in Spain. And um, went to the spot. It's like this planner into bank. And then it's a little bit rough. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I like all it into it a couple times. And I was like, oh, I'll just like tail drop into it or something. Mm -hmm. So these dudes were trying tricks. And I was just kind of messing around. And I get up there and just like throw it on there. Didn't really think. I'm like, oh, just tail drop, you know? Like, yeah. It's one of those things where you just kind of assume you're just going to do it. Yeah. And then I like go and as soon as my wheels touch, I'm already slipping out. I was like, oh, fuck. And then, I mean, I probably fell from like four, four or five feet high, just like straight to my backside. And then I was like, oh, like that was like the worst feeling shit. Like, it actually didn't swell up until maybe like five, six hours later. And yeah. we were driving and at the end of the drive, like I was like, dude, my, my back hurts. And like, I like sit up and I was all, dude, like why does it feel so weird? And I like pull my like shorts down and it's all, what the <laughs> fuck? And it's just like out there, just like so out there. I'm like, what dude, what is going on? And like, I started getting like anxiety cause like I didn't know what was happening. I was like, dude, is this bad? Like, what's like wrong? It just what's wrong? So like, gnarly. Yeah, like yeah. It, you had an like, extra bun. Yeah, like I stood up and like showed everybody else. I was like, dude, is like, what's what's going on? What, you know what's happening? And then they're like, dude, your, your shit is fucked. I'm like, oh my god. And I'm like, started losing. I was like, fuck, dude. Like, and then like, um, I don't know, dude. It was like an extra butt cheek on the butt cheek. Yeah. And like, I was like, Whoa. dude. Uh, yeah, you, it was like a yeah. bursitis or whatever that's called. Yeah, it was, Li it was liquid. Was it hard, or was it? It, it soft? took a little bit. It took a little bit for it to harden up after after a while. It kind of the swelling all came together. But at first, it was really like just like a freaking water balloon style. Just Whoa! Juice. Yeah, that's just so like far. all like. Do you have a photo bleh. of this? Oh, I think or I do. It it's, on, it's on my Instagram. It's on your Instagram. Yeah, it's just like well. I mean, Is it's it not, hashtag Tommy Buns? Should we just? I don't yeah, know. Got, Maybe got, somebody ta hashtag that <laughs> by a, now. I'd assume. Got but, a name. That's cool. I want to find this. Yeah. That sounds really painful. I did a very similar thing, but snowboarding years ago, and I never really ever snowboarded like that ever again. Cheek oh yeah, comment? it was like the hardest slam I've ever yeah. had. Like hit my head, like beanie everywhere. Yeah. Like slammed so hard off a jump, like to ice on just one yeah. butt cheek, and it was like. They never, Pack swell, snow, they, the swelling never went down, either. actually, now that I think about it. Game over? <laughs> so, you said that was on your backside. Yeah, it was on my butt. Yeah, my butt never went, the swelling never went down. Hey, all That's your, the problem. All the kids in the comments love your ass, so I'm sure they'd like How it. Yeah, I mean, it's third butt cheek. How much more can it yeah. swell Why not? Up? Yeah, it's still swollen. <laughs> it's still swollen. I God damn. look like I got stung by a bee every God day. God damn. A hive of bees? <laughs> yeah, a hive of bees, totally. I wanted to ask Tommy about the slap board, sort of naming naming you and your friend Team Drunken High. <laughs> that was a question slap I had from the last time you were here. This was on a message board? Evidently, here's, here's what I have. The slap message boards <laughs> named him and the homie Tim Team Drunken High after their appearance on One in a Million. <laughs> and they've embraced it to the fullest. <sighs> Did you know about this? I I didn't even I didn't even know that was where it originated. Maybe I was 
too drunk and high. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think it was just like inevitable. Like that fool was always faded. And <laughs> at a point in my life, I was always high. So it's like, yeah. Team I mean, drunk maybe and it high. just works out. kind of evens it out. I was wondering if you'd want to give like a good Lewis Marnell story before we, before we walk out. Fuck, that was a lot of st- uh, that was a lot of cool shit. He, this is the one that like, I think I've said it in like something else before. Okay. Um, we went to Ballarat. It's like a place in Australia mm-hmm. on a trip, and he like found this baby mouse. Lewis like found this baby mouse, and it instantly became like his mission to like save this mouse. There was like no skating anymore. No like talking to anyone he was like in the back in a shoebox with like all this like weird like he like i don't even know what food he thought this he should feed uh-huh. this mouse but he like got all the stuff for this mouse and he called it bala because it was a rat he found in ballarat uh which is just like i don't know so funny and uh it didn't even fucking survive the poor little thing really but <laughs> it was just like yep i found this mouse this is what i'm doing now yeah. I don't know, it's so sick. Just fully like took it into yeah, custody. It was just, yeah, huh? Yeah, <laughs> and it was just like, we're on a skate trip, you know what uh, I mean? We're like checking out cool spots, but it's like, he's like not getting out at spots, like staying in the van looking up. I don't know. He had the mouse in the box in the van. He had like stuff. a little shoe box, yeah, he brought it with him after he, after he found it. I don't know. Well, thanks for coming in, guys. No worries. Thanks for coming back, Tommy. Yeah, thanks for coming back. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is funny. I I'll found this, I stole this from my... I'll say my shrink's office it's yesterday. It's mostly embarrassing. Look at this. I meant to show you this when you walked right in. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Look that at this. Is, marketing, that's you, Tommy. Marketing, <laughs> marketing manager at Stance, TV personality and video hostess of YouTube's <laughs> Ride Channel. Weekend buzz. Read the questions. They're funny. What's your style personality? Oh, my God. Answer it. Let me, let me see how close you are. What's the answer? What's the answer? I don't know. I'm not, What's the answer? I don't know. I wrote, it. I wrote it while I was in New York. I'm a minimalist tomboy. Oh, with my God. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I hate things about me. <clears throat> Can we Love not? Love it or don't? Biggest fashion. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> biggest fashion regret. No. Why are we doing this? What's the biggest fashion I'm like regret? Sweating. I know, come I'm on. sweating again. Hey, this is what's like what, this is what this is your job. Do it for hair. the show. I said yeah. two dogs and bad hair, Tommy. Okay. Only one. You wouldn't know about You said things. only one? I said both. Yeah, you said two. Yeah. Said here's two: bad hair and tube tops. Burn the evidence. Oh, I like the way you're reading. Out, you know? mm. It's like a real Passionate. story. Look at this pose. How? I know that's provocative. <laughs> oh my god. How do you how do you stay in shape? Mm. Erica, how do you stay in shape? It's a good question. Boot camp, working out. Boot camp gym. on my lunch breaks. Body pumping cardio at the gym after work. Attempting to eat right and try not to drink wine every night. Hey, check good. out who's two pages after What's though. Pump? What's Who? pump? It's your doppelganger. <laughs> I had the page to other <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah, That's look at it. What are the odds? <laughs> What's up, homie? <laughs> Cheers. Look at that. That's well, embarrassing. Always nice interviewing you, Erica. Thanks, Tommy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that pose. Looking all right. Just <laughs> 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 Now Erica's sweating. I am, I'm like right literally that? sweating. That's no. what it's like if you That's sit in these like, two chairs. I can't, I don't do that. Baby oh to hold there we go. Fucking wow. Goodness. Yeah, that's like the Taj Mahal of nail painting. Hold on. Nail painting. <laughs>